everybody. Welcome to another episode of Music Made Easy. I'm Mr. Mustacato. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Happy wishes to everybody. Uh, so today, our lesson is going to focus on how to assemble a saxophone. Now, a saxophone is one of my favorite instruments to play. I've been playing it for a long time now, since the fourth grade, actually. Um, and so I have my saxophone ready to go. And uh, for all you saxophone players, you can follow along. And I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get started. So basically what I'm going to show you today is the different steps you have to take in order to assemble your saxophone properly. Um, these are the steps that I feel work the best. And some of them will sort of transition into the other. And hopefully it all makes sense. So let's get started. The first piece is this. This is my next strap. I usually just like to throw this on. I'm going to leave it right there, save it for later. Next is this piece. Now this piece is called the neck, right? And it goes in between the mouthpiece and the body. And I'm going to explain why I like to start with this piece, right? Lots of times people think, oh, we should start with this, the mouthpiece. But I'm going to explain why I would start with the neck first. So what you're going to do is, you have your mouthpiece, take the cap off, this is your protective cap. This is called your ligature. This is like the clamp that goes onto your mouthpiece. You can take that off as well. Put it aside. And what you're going to do is, put the mouthpiece on the cork, just like so. So it should look like this now. Okay. It's important that we don't have too much cork showing, right? What I mean by that is the mouthpiece shouldn't be on the end like this. Okay. It should be somewhere around there. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take out biggest part, the body. Right? This is the body of the saxophone, this is where we have all our keys. And just uh, something a little fun that I like to do, and I'll show you, I have this cap here on top of my saxophone, right? but it's a special cap and I'll show you why. Ready? What'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? This is basically like a big pipe cleaner. So when I'm not using my saxophone, right, I can cap it and make sure the inside stays nice and dry. Right? I'll do it one more time. I'll do it really quickly this time. There we go. I'm going to put that down. On the back of your body, there should be this hole right here. And this is important. This is where the neck strap goes. So I'm going to have you clamp the neck strap on, just like this. All right? That way, you can use your neck muscles, right? to hold up the saxophone, that way your arms don't get too tired. So I'm just fixing a little bit. And this part of the neck strap, you can pull up to tighten or pull down to loosen. So you grip both sides, and then you pull up like that, or you pull down like that. I'm gonna pull up, just so it's at a comfortable spot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna put my ligature back on, this is my ligature on my mouthpiece. And it has a little tightening screw here, tighten that. Then I'll put my neck onto my body like this, and then tighten with my screw here so the neck doesn't wobble around. And then we are ready to go. Let's see what it sounds like. So, believe it or not, this is the most important piece of the saxophone. Might be a little tricky to see, but this is called a reed. Right? And the reed, mine is made out of plastic, most of the time they're made out of wood. And basically, the reed 
is what causes the vibrations. So we use our air right, to blow on the mouthpiece with the reed, and the reed buzzes really, really fast, which causes the vibrations, and the sound goes through the saxophone, right, and all the way out the bottom, out the bell. So what I'm going to do is put the reed on the mouthpiece, okay, and I'll take it off so you can see it. And this is really, really important. Use the ligature. Slide it all the way down, make sure it's nice and loose, and then tighten. Okay. So I'm going to take the neck off so you can see how it lines up. Hopefully everyone can see that. Okay. The reed right, matches the shape of the mouthpiece. And my ligature is nice and straight, right? so the reed stays on nice and straight. Sometimes, right, people don't set them up straight. Something like this. You can see the reed is sticking out to one side. Okay, that will produce a really, really bad sound. That's also how our reeds break, right? And it's really, really important that we take care of our reeds as wind players. So we're going to make sure it's on nice and straight. Tighten my ligature, nice and tight. The neck, back on. Tighten once again. And now, let's see if it's ready to play. I think it will be. Here we go. Ah, see? It's good to go. And once you get that, once you get every, all the parts together, you can play all different types of songs. So, hope you enjoyed my lesson. Saxophone players, get to it. Uh, flutes, clarinets, it's a little similar. Trumpets, trombones are a little different though. And I'll get to those in a different lesson. But for now, everyone enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>